All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome. We're we're in deep right now, folks. The Zendikar Rising Complete Set Review. We do every single card. We do Constructed. We do Limited. We do it all. And we do it live on the stream and here on YouTube. If you missed any of the episodes or the colors, look for them on YouTube. All right, we already did white, blue, black, and red. We're finishing off Wooburg here with green, a color that really needs help with Constructed. Green has been struggling for years. <laughs> Good green cards anywhere? Any green cards? No? No? So, follow the stream if you're watching on Twitch. Like, comment, subscribe, watching on YouTube. 10 new brews, early access stream next week, next Wednesday. Look for that one, of course, on YouTube and Twitch and CoolStuffInc.com. Check out my article on CoolStuffInc.com tomorrow. Love hates for uh, the set, cards that are over underrated. And, uh, okay, here we go. Let's go. Let's do this. Let's do some green cards here. Starting off with... Adventure awaits. What a good place to start, right? Adventure awaits. Two mana sorcery. Look at your top five cards. You may reveal a creature card from among them. Put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. If you didn't put a card in your hand this way, draw a card. That's kind of cool. A little, a little whiff insurance there. A little whiff protection. Eh? A little whiff protection. Um. I mean, it's okay. Like, a two mana cantrip is, is okay. Not great. Um... Not really a constructed effect, unless we're looking for, like, some serious sort of combo with two creatures. Thank you for the resub. Appreciate that roast and toast. Um, it is September, too, folks. Discounts on subs for all you new subs and YouTube viewers out there. So, Wave Production's good, but it's just okay. I mean, this is only going to be played if it's, like, a serious combo. Two mana is too much. At one mana, this card would be insane, but at two, eh. And then in, uh, and then in, uh, in Limited, it's fine. If you're lacking in two drops, you know, if you have a certain good creatures you want to find, it can help put your party together, I suppose, but it's just just kind of medium. Just kind of medium. Not a really amazing card. Ancient Greed Warden, Mythic Rare Time. Six mana for a 5-7. It's about a 5 out of 7. Elemental Creature, Reach. You can play lands from your graveyard. If a land entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control the trigger, it triggers again. So, double landfall for the most part, and then a little extra as well. Um, definitely a powerful card. Uh, he can pay play the back half of the lands. What do you mean? Oh, from the graveyard? That's pretty sweet. So, if you have a... If you have... Is that untrue? No, we can't. We got a rules fight in, uh, in chat here. Fight, fight, fight. Can't. We're saying it, we're saying it can't. Okay. But um anyway, focus, Jim, focus. Five seven for six. Play lands from your graveyard. Double landfall triggers. This is sort of like the big commander, like win more card. I do think this could be uh maybe like a combo card. Um so maybe with some of those red with that red green skate red red shape scape shift card. Some sort of you know, you Lotus Cobra, play a lot of lands, do a lot of stuff. You can play. Wow. It can play. Crucible also got an errata. Okay. Judge? I need a judge. I need an adult. I need an adult. Somebody help me. I don't know. Chats can I don't I don't I don't I I'm I'm the worst kind of creator of all time. I don't know anything. You can't, you can, you can't, you can't, you can, you can't, you can. Goldhead says, confirmed by Watsy, you can play the backside of double face cards with this. Crucible doesn't say land cards anymore, unless you can play lands. Okay, that makes sense. So it looks like you can play lands with this, which is which is very good, actually. So you can play your spells, and then you get lands also. Um, no, you can't. Yes, I can. I can do anything better than you. Uh, so yeah, so this is more of a, a win more card. Um, or a combo card. Cool, uh... Cool commander card or cool combo card. Not much else. Uh, in limited, this card's obviously pretty good. Just a huge creature with some upside. But uh, I am tired of talking about this card, so we're going to move on. Ashaya, Soul of the Wild. Five mana for a star star. Legend, elemental. Power and toughness equal to the number of lands you control. Non-token creatures you control are forest lands in addition to their other types. So... 
its power and toughness is effectively the number of lands you control and the number of non-token creature you, creatures you control. And they're all forests, so you can tap them for mana. So every non-token creature you have is a land or elf and power equal to that. I mean, this gives itself plus one plus one. Yeah, okay. So it's actually like a 6-6 six, six for 5 in a vacuum. This feels like another commander card. Like, you could do some cool stuff with this, I guess. But I, I don't know what the what the end game is. Like, a big vanilla creature with no evasion is not playable constructed. Um, making your things land or elves. Eh. Uh, good draft card. Like, really good draft card. It does make your things planner, planner cleansing proof. You can fling. Yeah, I don't know. Your creatures now trigger landfall. Sure. I mean, it. it I'm saying it, it does things, but I don't know if those things are relevant to any major constructed format. Um, so we're going to move on here. Very good draft card. Cool commander card. I don't know. Bala Ged Recovery. They're meant for a regrowth. That's also a land. So again, we have our flip lands here. If it's your first time seeing one of the reviews, uh, you can play a land or you can play a spell. It's their double-sided cards. And this one's gotten a lot of hype because the big thing about these spell lands is you want the, the spell to be good late because the land is usually good early. You don't want to land late usually. So for example, the force spike is terrible because you don't want a force spike on turn five or a land on turn five or six. So this is actual regrowth. Um, it's any, any card back in the graveyard cost three. Um, this card feels mostly like a combo card. Uh, recollect has seen a little bit of play in combo decks. Um, I think this card's pretty overrated. Honestly, it, a tap land is not great, you know, and while yes, this is fine later on in the game, you could just play a card that is actually good, you know, like, or play the mythic green land card of looking for a land spell. Three mana for a regrowth isn't really doing it constructed. You know, unless you're getting back something that's like really broken or just sort of like broken combo thing. Um, yeah, Amulet Titan maybe for sure. Um, I think this is mostly a, a corner case. I'm doing something combo-y or unique with lands and I want to have a cool one of bounce lands, et cetera, et cetera kind of thing. I don't think you're playing this card straight up. You're not playing this card as just like a, I want a little value for my land. I'm going to play this card. So this is mostly a combo card. Um, you know, sure. Oops, all spells or whatever. Char Belcher. Uh, very fringe. Very fringe. People are overrating this card. It's good in those areas. Like, yeah, Amulet Titan will play one of this card for sure. Uh, absolutely. But in regular magic scenarios, the card is not very good in the vacuum. Limited, same thing. It's really, really chunky, you know? Uh, Broken Wings. Good sideboard card. Kills flyers, artifacts, and enchantments. Canopy Bailout. Five mana for a 4-3. Landfall plus two plus two. Real solid common. Just rock solid draft common. Cornerstone of, a, of, a, of an archetype for sure. Um, earlier, I defended Mine Rot, but I'm underrating Regrowth. Mine Rot is a better constructed card than Regrowth is in a vacuum unless you're comboing um one card is card advantage one card is a one for one slow tempo black hole um and if you're comboing totally totally different but people don't play re uh, recollect in their constructed decks also doing they're supposed to be doing broken things mine rod has seen some play in the past so yeah just rock solid uh rock solid draft common here i think if you want to know about cards that uh, there were other colors that you missed already, they'll all be up on YouTube tomorrow. The entire set review goes on YouTube tomorrow morning. Look for that one, of course. Cragplate Bailoth. Seven mana for a 6-6. Six, six. Can't be countered. Hexproof Haste. I obviously hate cards like this. Gay is Revenge. Uh, you know, Carnage Tyrant. But this card's not Carnage Tyrant. Uh, Castle Ardenvale is a legal magic card that's played in most control decks. Castle Ardenvale makes this card look really stupid. Uh, seven mana is a lot. Gets chump blocked. There aren't really any um, 
pure control decks anymore. Like pure draw go, counter everything, no win conditions, take a hundred turns, kind of counter, counter spell decks. This card would be good against, and even then, it's not that good against them. So, pretty uh, pretty mopey constructed card here. Um, yeah, not a very good card. Shifting Ceratops, it ain't sure. Seven's a lot. Is it playable? Sure. If you're playing against counter spell decks, you have a lot of mana in your deck. It's a playable card. It's not super exciting. So, and limited is obviously phenomenal. Just a freaking huge creature. But Dauntless Survivor, uh, two two mana one one. This is just the Iron Shell Beetle. It's a common limited card. It's a warrior counter synergies. Solid card. Solid card. Obviously, Goober would play. It's got hexproof. I uh, love you, Goober. Uh, Gnarled Colony, two mana two two. You can kick it and make it a 4-4 four, four, Trample. Good draft card. Good early, good late. Good synergy card. Again, there's a lot of plus one, plus one counter synergy in, uh, in Limited. Inscription of Abundance. I'm actually really high on this card. So the other two inscriptions, I think, are pretty bad. Uh, they're not playable constructed. They're pretty mopey. I think this card's actually really good. Like, possible constructed playable is bomb in Limited. But... This card is a two mana instant, kicker three. It's a modal spell, but if you kicked it, choose all three. Put two plus one plus one counters on target on tar creature. Target player gains X life, where X is the greatest power among creatures they control. Target you control fights for your creature you don't control. So for one mana more than prey upon, we get a prey upon at instant speed. Plus two, two plus one plus one counters for two mana is like actually pretty fine. It's just like a pump spell, but it's also a like a permanent pump spell, which is pretty sweet. And then a life gain is also good if you're racing. And five mana to kick this at instant speed is a freaking blowout. Pump this creature, fight that creature, gain life so you can't kill me. Um, Dramoka's Command is a reasonable comparison as far as the flexibility goes, but this card has a much higher upside. I think this card is playable and constructed, despite looking like a, like a limited kind of com combat trick. Um, Counter's Heartless Act. Yeah, this one is, is far away the best description. It's not even close. Um, I think this card's very good. This card is busted and limited, too. Just completely busted. Um, really, really good card. Better than Primal Might? 13 They're different. This card is much more nimble. Um, I think they're close. I think they're close. I'm not sure. Primal Might is pretty good, but I think they're, I think they're close. Iridescent Horn Beetle, 5 mana for a 3-4. End step, make a 1-1 one, one insect token for each plus one plus one counter I put on a creature of his turn. This is a good good draft card. Optimus up, Optimator. Wave thanks to the resub. Uh, this is just a good synergy card. If you're putting a lot of counters on things, you just play any creature that gets counters on it. You get a, you get a token. It's fine. Solid card. Solid draft card. Jorga Visionary. 3-2 uh, for 4 if it draws a card comes into play. This is a phenomenal draft card. This card trades reasonably well and draws you a card. Just super, super awesome. Uh, super awesome draft card. Really, really good. Kazandu Mammoth. It's really, really good. All right. Don't let the, the not best of show uh, taint your vision on this card. This card is really, really good. All right, we do a best of show for every color if you're just tuning in. Um, this card's really, really good. Oh, I got it. Everyone's so good. I pulled the rug out from under you. Um, this card is really, really good. It's a 3-3 three, three for, for 3 with landfall plus 2 plus 2. It's also a land. Um, so the fact that if you draw three of these, the third one could just be a land to trigger landfall is pretty great. This card's really, really good. Uh, super, super good. Uh, very, very solid card. Not best in show, but it's a real good beater. If there's a landfall deck, this card's really good. If you're playing multiple lands, this card's really good. Um, could have easily been best of show. Um, but it's a beater. It's a beater. Company hit? Absolutely. Six, six attack on turn three with TTT. What's TTT? Teferi's Time Twist? What's Teferi's Time Twist? I don't know what that is. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's also good with the Great Henge, very true. But yeah, definitely a real, real solid card here. Not much to say, just a really, really good, good card on rate. You know, it's a good card. Uh, Kazandu Nectar Pot, 1-3 for 2. 
Landfall, Gain of Life. It's a decent, decent little draft common. It's fine. I did win the player championship with four Jotty offshoot in my deck. So, like, I guess I got to respect, respect this card a little bit, but, yeah, it's a card. Kazandu Stomper, uh, six mana for a 6 5 trample. Comes to play, bounce two lands. Another staple for the landfall deck, most likely. Doesn't play well with the with the red five drop that bounces a land because if you bounce your land on with the five drop, you can't play this on turn six. But just a big beatdown creature helps sugar landfall. Just a good solid limited common, you know, for sure. A beast Goro. Goro. Um, <laughs> Kalani Ambush. The mana for a fight. Decent, decent flip card here. Obviously, the land is good early. And then. Well, three mana for Prey Upon is not very good. At instant speed, this is a solid draft common. Definitely not playable constructed, but it's a solid draft common. It's also very good. The thing, the thing about this card you gotta understand is that fight effects are gonna be really good in this format with all of your pan, with all of your landfall creatures because they're temporarily really big. So you landfall, make your thing a five five, attack, they don't block, and now you have a great fighter too. So fighting's gonna be a little better of an average. And it would be an average set, making this card better than usual. So, solid draft card. Not amazing, but solid draft card. And then, obviously, it's a land, too, which is which is very solid as well. Don't hate me, everyone. Don't hate me. Don't hate me. Best in show. Best in show. Lotus Cold was really, really good. Now, we don't have fetch lands, which makes Lotus Cold a busted but Lotus Culver's is great. It's just a really, really good card. And the big thing is, I got I got bad news for y'all. Can y'all can you handle some bad news? Euro Titan of Nature's Wrath. It's still legal. You know what cards go with Euro? Lotus Cobra. Yeah. So Lotus Carver is already good. Field, field Passage is also legal too. Um, Lotus Carver is just good. You know, it's just a really, really good card. Um, I'm also, honestly, just really, really happy that this is a rare. When Mythic Rares, raise your hand in chat if you remember this. When, or leave a comment on YouTube. When Mythic Rares were first announced, Wizards of the Coast announced that they would be Legendary big creatures, planeswalkers, super splashy effects. Um, the ultimatums were in the same set that mythic rares were released and were not mythic. So they weren't even like splashy enough. And for the first few sets, that was true. It was Elspeth Knight Errant, it was God Sire and Big Dumb Mythics. Um Lotus Cobb was the first card where The first card that was a mythic that was just like, this card's just good. There's nothing fancy about this card. It's just a two drop, one of the best cards in the set, and it's just mythic. You know, like, okay, sure. Um, so seeing this card at rare just like makes me happy on the inside. It's like they've, that injustice from like 12 years ago is being, is being fixed in a way. So it makes me happy. It makes me happy. But Lotus Card was busted. Uh, it's really, really good. It's insane with Euro. Um, just a really good card. It's a lot of good. There's a lot of good uh, landfall stuff too, which we'll you know we'll, we'll get some of that as well. But yeah, real good card. Best in show. Lotus Cobra. I know, not the sexiest pick, but we already had some pretty sexy best in show picks if you missed them. So, Mina Marasa, two mana for an instant, plus three, plus three on the turn. If you kick it, plus five, plus five. Just your generic okay combat trick. Um, the fact that you can like steal a game with this plus five, plus five is pretty nice. Definitely better than your average two mana pump spell, but you don't want too many of these, you know? Eh, it's fine. Marasa Brute, three, three for three. It's a warrior, I guess. Marasa Sproutling, three mana for a three, three with abilities. Right. Um, the mana 3 3, plant elemental, kicker 2. If it was kicked, return target card with a kicker ability from your graveyard to your hand. So, kicker 
enablers tend to be blue and green, it looks like. Bacon resub. Month number two, most important month. Thanks so much. Um, definitely a solid limited card here. Definitely not a constructed card. Uh, five mana eternal witness. Not really doing it for us, but good draft card. Good draft card for sure. And this is Zendikon. Four mana enchant land. Four, four haste. When it dies, land bounces. This card's honestly not that bad, but just a draft card for the most part. Kind of cool. Why don't I play music? Uh, DCMA will come to my house and, uh, Kill me, basically. Also on YouTube, I'll get demonetized. Orin Reef Ooze, 3 mana for a 2 2. Comes into play, put a counter on a creature you control. So, base level, this is a 3 3 with a counter on it. So, it's better than a regular 3 3 because it has uh, synergies. Whenever it attacks, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on each attacking creature with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it. Um, it's okay. It's okay. It's not a great payoff for counters. There are certainly good counter. Synergy cards in the format, uh, Conclave, Mentor being the best of them. This card doesn't really do a ton. It's it's okay. It's okay. Um, great draft card, obviously. Phenomenal draft card. But okay. Okay. Uh, constructed card, maybe. Um, turn two, Conclave, Mentor. Turn three, this. Target itself. Make it a 4-4 four, four is okay. But just a little too weak, I think. Just a little too weak. Not super, uh, not super exciting. Rabbit Bite. Good draft card. Seen it a million times. Usually a first pickable, you know, a, a green card. Better options than constructed. Just good. Just good. Reclaim the waste. One green, lay of a land, search for a basic. Four, four mana, search for two basics. I mean, there's a multi-card deck that wants to fix its mana. It's okay. It's not quite a Tomb of the Aether. Um, it is a kicker card. So there's some value there as far as uh, kicker synergies and things like that. Triggering kicker things. Copy it with the Snapcaster Mage. Um, it's a card. You know, obviously a two, with Aether, a two with Aether was banned in standard, so cheap enabler cards should be watched, but it's cute. It is, it's also Euro Fuel, it's true, but it's a card. Roiling Regrowth. Uh, the worse Harrow. Worse. Uh, Harrow puts the lands in untapped. This puts the land in tapped. The difference is. Harrow, the sacrifice is part of the cost. This, the sacrifice is part of the spell. So if you get countered, you don't get blown out. But Harrow was uh, an insane, insane card in the original Zendikar. Um, enabling all your landfall effects and things like that. Instant speed is phenomenal. You're pumping creatures, you're triggering stuff. Um, super powerful limited card. Like first pickable limited card. Uh, constructed cultivates a lot better. It's a straight card advantage. Um, does put cards in your graveyard for Euro and things like that. Again, with Lotus Cobra, we could see some stuff going too, but, um, it's a thing. Depends on how, depends on how hard you're landfalling realistically, but definitely a playable card. A uh, great limited card and definitely a possible card for Constructed for sure. Scale of Heights, two mana for a sorcery. Put a counter on a creature, gain two life, play additional land, draw a card. It's like Euro, only a common. I mean, obviously a fine limited card. Uh, it does enough for, for for three mana where you feel okay about it. It's a cantrip, little life, puts a counter somewhere. Uh, just like a draft common. It does uh, it does plus one plus one counter for synergy. You know, it's just fine. Can I have some Euro? We have Euro at home. Yeah, you know, we know, but... Scoot Swarm is a 3-mana 1-1. One, one. Landfall. Make a 1-1 one, one Insect. If you control 6 or more lands, instead, you make a copy of Scoot Swarm. So obviously, exponentially going to get out of control there. Uh, I mean, it's okay. It's not really a not really a great card. You know, it's kind of cool. Um, yeah, Left Alone will, will win the game by itself, but a bunch of 1-1s one, dies through a lot of stuff. Yeah. Yeah, definitely, uh, yeah, definitely two interesting things here. One, it's going to be fun to see how Arena handles this card because if you get, uh, if you kind of keep going and make another one and make another one, exponentially start making 1-1s, one Arena will probably explode. That's pretty fun. And then in Limited, this card's insane because you just win the game eventually. But, uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah. Yeah. Skyclave Pickaxe. 
one green equipment, adventuring gear, basically. Uh, creature has, equip creature has landfall plus two plus two. The fact that this only costs one to play and equip is kind of cool. Or not play, play and like insta equip. Equip cost of three is kind of a lot. Adventuring gear was never very good. Um, so not thrilled about it. A lot of the equipment synergy stuff is in like green and white and or red and white anyway. I don't think this card's very good, honestly. It looks good. Adventuring gear looked good too. It wasn't good. Uh, so not really, uh, not really too big on this card. In limited, it's definitely fine, but I, I don't know. I'm just it's not really uh, not really too about it. Spring Mantle Cleric four mana for a two three. Comes to play with a plus one plus one counter for each color of mana spent to cast it. So it's a 3-4 at minimum. It's a fine card. If you're splashing, it's better. Adds a counter. Just a, probably a pretty beefy... Uh, you know, with two colors, you're like, I could say 4-5 with counters on it. Which is fine. It's fine. It's the draft. Draft uncommon. Strike the Solidarity. Choose a creature you control. Put a counter on it for each creature in your party. If this is an instant, this card would be, would be unreal. Uh, unreal. But as a sorcery, this is kind of just asking to get blown out. It's just like a bad aura, sort of. So if you're super partying and <laughs> if, <sighs> if you're partying really hard and you're really aggressive, this card's fine. Uh, but you are going pretty uh, pretty all in. HWK, yeah. Ali Eldrazi. Ali likes to party really hard. <laughs> Thanks to the raid, Ali. Appreciate that. If you haven't seen Ollie's stream, check him out. Ollie's great. Uh, we are, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We are currently in green of our full set review. Every card, every color. Did, we're at the end of Uberg. We did white, blue, black, and red. We're uh, latter stages of the green here, so we've got multicolor and lands to do. We do a best of show for every color. And anything you miss, we'll be up on YouTube tomorrow. On the YouTube, full set review. Check it out. Follow, like, subscribe. Do all the good stuff. Ollie, thanks so much. I appreciate it. Um, yeah, so kind of an all-in limited card. Swarm Shambler, I like a lot. What's up, Bean Balls? Can oh, reset thanks so much. He's still doing set review. Oh load set reviews. That's right. Ollie, thanks. Thanks, I appreciate it. Um, so yeah, Shambler is really cool. I like this card a lot. Um, one green for a one 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 with a counter on it. Whenever a creature you control with a counter on it becomes a targeted of a spell of ability, you get a token. So it has the uh, the Thornwood Warrior. Thorn, what was that card called? It's a 2-3, Corset, 2-drop. That's a really good ability. So if they kill this, you get a 1-1. One, one, and that's awesome. Um, then it has the ability to pay 1 and put a counter on it. Thorn Lieutenant, that's the one. A lieutenant. Um, so this thing can slowly grow. It semi-protects your plus and plus and counter things. And it's just like kind of fine by itself. So I think Conclave Mentor gained a lot uh, in this set like a lot and conclave mentor and this card are like peas and carrots this card on one mentor on two turn three you can pump it make it a three three um i think this card's really good i think this card is sneakily very good it specifically wants to be played in the counter deck obviously you're not playing this in like a regular deck but as far as synergy card goes, cards go i like this one a lot it's a good one drop i'm down i'm down with the uh with the fungus beast over here i like it i like it Tajru Blight, Blight Blade. Uh, I mean, 1-1 one, one Death Touches are often playable and limited. It's a rogue. Fine draft card. Fine draft card. Tajru Paragon. This card's really good. Um, this is a, honestly a, a potential best-in-show candidate. Uh, two mana for a 3-2, which is fine. Uh, it's got, like, Party Changeling. Um, it's an Elf, a Cleric, a Rogue, a Warrior, and a Wizard. So now... It won't count for your whole party. Again, changelings only count for one of the party because it's only one physical creature. But that's still really good. Still part of your parties. Yeah. <laughs> this guy parties way too hard. When it's time to party, you know, Tajuri Paragon will party hard. So that's more though. It's a multi-classer, right? A multi-classer. That's, that's not all though. Kicker three, when it comes into play, if kicked, look at your top six cards, and you can put any cleric, rogue, warrior, elf, or wizard into your hand. Rest in the bottom. So it's two drop, and it's a five drop that draws a card. 
while also enabling your other stuff too. Um, this is a good card. This is just like a just like a very good solid magic card. Um, this is good. Good solid card. Good solid card. GG. Thanks. Thanks to sub. Appreciate that new sub. Um, yeah, it's it's a non it's an elf cleric rogue warrior wizard in all scenarios in your hand in the graveyard and so on and so forth. Uh, good card, just good magic card. Tajur Snarecaster, three mana for eight, one four reach. A little less exciting, a little less exciting. Uh, sideboard card against flyers in draft. Tangled Flora Hedron. Now this card is pretty interesting. Um, we have another double face card here, and we have a land. Or we have a two mana, mana elf elemental, whatever. The problem with this card is similar to the problem with the four spike, where both these cards are good on turn two, but on turn five, they both suck. Uh, and the thing you want out of your double face cards is you want the land to be good early and the spell to be good late. And this card late is just pretty terrible. And you're not gaining anything from the backside of this card, and you're losing a lot in the front side. You know, for two mana, we have Paradise Druid, or we have Lotus Cobra, or we have a lot of really good mana creatures. This is literally a two mana land or elf. I think this card's very overrated. I think this card's a trap. I think this card looks a lot better than it is, and I think it's playable. I don't think we're off the map on this card, but I mean, Paradise Druid has rotated, you are correct, uh, but this card is not as good as it looks. This is not a cycling Lana or Elf. If this card was a 1-1 one, one for 2 Lana or Elf that had cycling 2, it would be a thousand times better. Remember, double face land cards are not cycling cards. They're only lands in the back. So if they're bad top decks, they're still bad top decks. Very good limited card, though. Very good limited card. Next card is Taunting Arbor Mage. 3 mana for a 2-3 kicker. Comes into play if it was kicked. All creatures able to block tar creature do so. Pretty good card, honestly. Pretty good card. 2-3 three for 3 is... Eh. It's a green wizard. I'm not going to find a lot of wizards in green. So definitely a good off-typing party type here. And then definitely has the uh, you know the, the 6 mana taunting elf win the game effect. Or you can just landfall your creature to a 5-5. Five, five, send it in, make him block it. It's pretty good too. So solid card. That'll be a solid limited card for sure. Territorial Scythe Cat. 3 mana for a 2-1. Trample. Landfall. Plus 1 plus 1 counter. This card's very solid. Uh, very, very solid. Any card that scales as the game goes on is pretty good. And plus 1 plus, 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 plus 1 counters are good. Just a solid card. Honestly, maybe more of a 4 drop. Where you go play this, then play a land. Maybe you play this, play a tap land. But definitely solid limited card. Again, I say it a lot, but any card that scales up in limited, whereas the game goes on, it has the potential to get bigger and bigger, is extremely good as they break board stalls and board stalls happen on uh board stalls happen on a uh, in limited a lot. So solid limited card. Turn timber aesthetic, five mana for a five four, gain three life. Just a fine you know, if you need a five drop in limited, it's a fine card. It's not quite honey mammoth from Ikoria, but a solid card. It's a cleric too, kind of a weird type in green. Um, turn Timber Sym Symbiosis. Who's texting me at freaking midnight? Um, this is the green mythic spell lands. So of course, these mythic spell lands are all bolt lands, meaning they are like shock lands, and you bolt them. So they, they, they can come in untapped, unlike all the other spell lands, making the opportunity cost for these very, very low. And this one's really, really good. Um, seven mana sorcery, which is a lot, which is a lot. Look at the top seven cards of your library. You may put a creature card from among them onto the battlefield. If that card is a converted mana cost three or less, comes in with play with three plus one plus one counters. So this card can put an Emercool, or it can put in... A land or elf, make it a 4-4, you know? And with green being the best mana ramp color, 7 mana is not crazy. Super easy to play. Um, this is just a really, really good card. I kind of wish these were legendary, honestly, both for flavor reasons, because it's just a it's a, a proper noun, and because it would make playing a lot of them a little, a little more difficult. But uh, 
real good card. Real good card. And uh, these do do weird things with land counts as well. For example, if you're playing Delver of Secrets, not with this card necessarily, but for Delver, this is a land and a spell. So things that care about more spells, less lands in your deck, maybe things that reveal cards on top of your library. Of course, the extreme is uh, Goblin Charbelcher, uh, but this is a card. This is a real card. People are going to play a lot of this card. And again, your green ramp deck doesn't care about three life usually. You can always play a tapped if you have to. Uh, just a really, really good card. We're going to see a lot of these in many formats. Vastwood, also really good in like in modern, in like Amulet Titan and stuff. Oh boy. Oh boy. Next card is Vastwood Fortification. One green, plus one, plus one counter. This is a Battle Growth from Mirrodin. Exact same card. But we got a backside. It's a land. Uh, this is the kind of like, you know, super narrow card that's also a land. This card's kind of cool. I mean, if there is a counter synergy deck, you can sort of buy this one. The problem is a deck like that's probably aggressive. It doesn't want tap lands, but definitely a good limited card. I like this card a lot in limited. Um, again, I love one mana tricks. I love the fact that it makes it's a permanent pump. Constructed, probably not. But in limited, nice trick. Like it a lot. Low opportunity cost. Vastwood Surge, four mana for a sorcery. Search your library for two basic lands, put them in tapped, then shuffle your library. If it was kicked, put two plus one plus one counters on each creature you control. Jeez. So a improved explosive vegetation or circuitous route. Um, these effects are often playable and constructed. And we all know good ramp is in constructed, obviously. So pretty powerful effect. And then the uh, two plus one, plus one plus one counters on each creature you control is pretty pretty busted. I mean, typically ramp decks don't play that many creatures, but just being a a um, an explosive vegetation is a very solid card. So solid card constructed. Seems good and limited too, honestly, because you can realistically kick it and win the game and it's double landfall. So sweet. Sweet. If you missed any best in shows, you gotta watch the YouTube, folks. No, it'll all be up on YouTube tomorrow. Watch it all. Try the best in shows. Uh, play Scoot Swarm and then cast this. You get two Scoots. Yeah, that's true. It's true. I could see Scoot Swarm being like a sideboard card for ramp decks to bring against control decks. Kind of like a little juke. Uh, kind of cool. Kind of cool. Veteran Adventurer is a six mana five five. It's also a cleric, a rogue, a warrior, and a wizard. And it costs, it has affinity for your party. Um,. This is like your mirror enforcer, basically. So it's got vigilance too. This is a really good draft card. You know, with one or two party creatures out, this is a this is a four mana five five with vigilance. So this is a real, real good draft card. Um, not really enough going on for constructed, but real, real good draft uncommon. Vine Gecko, two mana for a two two. The first kicked spell you cast each turn costs one less to cast. Note it is kicked spells, not spell with kicker. Uh, so you got to actually kick it, but it's a card. But if you cast a kick spell, you put a counter on it. Again, I would need to really like gather or search all of the legal kick kicker spells in the format to, to think about this one a bit, but it seems like a decent enabler. It seems kind of similar to Polywog Symbiote, where it's a very powerful enabler for a somewhat underpowered mechanic. But um it's good. It seems very, very good and limited. Like excellent and limited. That's it. That's green. Simic, kick your face and draft. Yeah, basically. Um, yeah, that's green. We got more to do, though. So YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe. Other colors are all going to be up on YouTube, right? White, blue, black, red, green. We're done with colors. We got multicolored left, and we got colorless left, which will also include our lands. But um, YouTube folks, the next video. All right, stream folks, stay tuned. Multicolored is coming up next. Like, comment, subscribe, YouTube. Let me know in the comments what's your favorite green card. What's the best card in green? Am I wrong? Am I right? Best in show? Maybe? All right? Let's go. We got this. Complete set review. Moldy Coward is next.